Hi guys, I'd like to share a little emerger pattern with you. Uh, it's a hackle stack emerger and it's a fly that was that I started tying for, for Stack Fontaine Dam to fish yellowfish. Um, but I've used it for trout. It's a technique that I learned from a, a friend of mine in Montana. Uh, he fishes the Yellowstone River and the uh, Yellowstone National Park. And I started using it for uh, in emerges for, for yellowfish in South Africa and it's it's actually a very successful technique. Um, I'm tying it on a, I'll list all the materials and the hooks below. And there's also a video that I'm list that I'll uh, list below just a little with a little bit more detail on the technique, concentrating more on the technique. But I'm tying it on a 14428BL uh, size 16, and uh, you can tie it in various sizes. I find that uh, size 16s and 18s are my favourite go-to sizes, and I'm using it, I'm, I'm tying it with an abdomen, with a, with a, with a, a, a turkey bite abdomen. Now, I prefer to use the turkey bites rather than goose bites because it's, 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 it's a, a little bit softer. There's also a, a video on a few, uh, on, uh, with a few tips on how to prepare goose bites and turkey bites for uh, tying abdomens with, you know, if you want to tie abdomens with them. You can, I'll put the link down as well. The fly that I'm tying, I fished, I fished a, a very nice trout fishery, still water a while ago, well not a while ago, but a couple of days ago, and it's, it's a, struggled a little bit, it was very windy, and these little tan colored mayflies came off the water, hatching and then drifting on the, on the surface. And the fish just started going absolutely crazy for these and they swam from, from the one to the other just eating them off the surface and I only had I had this pattern but in black in my box with a slightly lighter colored wing uh, like a light down wing and that's all I had to to kind of imitate whatever was happening on the water and I managed to get a few fish but I think I would have been more successful if I had the right color fly. Um, that's why I'm tying a bunch of these now to keep them in the box because I know it's the same situation is gonna happen again and I don't want to get caught off guard. The um, reason for using a biot abdomen is because it sits in the water very in the right position very quickly. Um, many uh, and I've seen clink hammers and, and, and those sort of things being tied with uh, dubbing abdomens and and I kind of find that the dubbing traps air bubbles and they don't sit in the right position immediately on the water where a smoother abdomen will not trap air bubbles and it will just penetrate the surface immediately and sit in the right position in the position you want it to sit especially and you want that especially if you do sight fishing so um, that's why I'm using a goose bite or a turkey bite abdomen uh, tying a turkey bite abdomen. Um, now, it's a very simple technique actually. You, you tie a or simple fly, you tie a, a nylon, double strand of nylon uh, monofilament as a post, and I'm using about a 4 or 5x tippet material. Tie that on top where you want to tie the wing in the thorax area. Secure that right there. Just make sure it's on top of the hook. And you wrap that back. And I'm using a, a 8 0 grip thread as well. And then your hackle. I'm going to tie a lighter colored wing, so I'm using a like a tan colored hackle, like brown, and I'm using whiting hackle. I 
I kind of believe in Whiting Hackle. I don't think there's anything else that matches Whiting Hackle on the market. And you need to use good quality Hackle. Uh, so I'm using a Whiting, I'm actually using a dry fly saddle here. And that's where you're going to tie the fly off. I'm just going to get the thread out of the way. And you lift the post and wrap the hackle around the monofilament and I'm going to do it about 12 times That should be enough. Yep. And then you go down, you overlap the first wraps and wrap it down and that forms a very nice tight bunch of stiff fibers from the hackle that will keep this fly afloat for quite some time. And all the way to the bottom where you're going to tie it off. Take the thread back to where you want to tie that off and you tie the hackle off right there. Now you're always going to trap a few bobs there but try to keep them out of the way of your hackle wraps. Another one. There we go. You cut that hackle off and you can pull that away and secure the that end of the hackle properly and take your thread back again where you need to start your thorax. Now I'm going to tie a honey colored thorax. I'm using a, a grip trilobal dubbing. It's a synthetic dubbing but I quite like to use it for, for my dry flies. You wrap that around the hook or the thread rather. Make a thin layer. Apply a thin layer of, of dubbing to make sure you can control each wrap and make sure it's in the right position. And then you start to build your thorax. Make sure you get that those fibers out of the way. Once you've got that, you pull the hackle back and fold it over the thorax. Make sure that's nice and tight. Secure that nylon or monofilament with a few wraps of thread and trim that right there. And then you secure, make sure that's well secured 
and you would finish the thread make a nice whip finish and you can cut that thread once that's done and that is the Hacklestack Emerger little fly that I very often use to sight fish yellow fish on Stabfontein now you'll always have a few of those barbs pointing downwards you can either move them out of the way if they don't want to get out of the way cut them because you want that fly to sit right in the water see there's one or two down there I'm just going to cut them away you want that fly to be very flat in the water cut them off very short and out of the way and you'll see that this fly will sit with the thorax almost in the water and just the wing sticking out of the water which is what you want when you fish those emerges especially in their very early stages um, of the emerging process so give it a go try it on some of your other parachute patterns replace the parachute with a hackle stack see how it works and uh, please like the video please follow the, the the channel and keep an eye out for more of these videos